everyone welcome back to the auntie Susie show so um it was september last month it was really hard because that's the month my sister went missing and then a year later she was found um murdered uh, it was ruled a homicide and so i did the story time on her last year and i think it's time for another story time about her situation and her case because i left out a lot of details i made a newer tiktok video on my um, channel and it was about her um, i had two videos in particular about the mmiw and so that has been real near and dear to my heart just because she is one of the missing and murdered indigenous women out here in the southwest um she's native american we are hopi laguna and navajo and so she was uh looking for work down in tucson back in 2012 um, she had just gone through a very bad divorce and so she just wanted to get out of town and just kind of start over again so she went down to tucson where our brother lived at the time and she went to go live with him and so i don't know what happened but um, she kind of fell through the cracks basically and so at first we didn't know she was missing we had no idea we didn't um, suspect anything she'd go a few weeks and call us you know it wasn't anything out of the ordinary oh Tori's calling you know a few weeks later and that was just her you know mo just the way she was just a few weeks every few weeks check in and so it had been over I'd say maybe about a good month since we had heard from her and so finally we called um, me and my family called my sister-in-law my brother's wife to see where she was and she basically said over the phone oh Victoria has been missing for over a month or a month now she said and I was like okay and she never told us so she knew that my sister had been missing for a month prior to her us finding out basically and so <laughs> That was really sketchy that was really weird we tried to ask her to go down to the police station and file a missing persons report for us she would not and so we had to go down in person in, uh, to tucson I had to take a few days off of work and we went down there to um file a missing persons report because we couldn't do it from new mexico and so we went to arizona so we got to the sheriff's office to file the missing person report we do so and at the end they ended up uh giving us her property she had been dating a guy named matt um Johnson I'm, I can't remember his last name it's it, like literally been a decade and since I've spoke any of this to anyone and so like with this much depth and detail I'm like giving names um locations you know his stepdaughter's name and so I want to say it was Matthew Johnson I think but it was his first name was Matthew and he had a stepdaughter her name was Alana um I'm not quite sure I, I'm suspecting it might be with an E instead of an A, so E L A N N A or A L A N A, Alana, and so, um, I guess my sister would stay with them for a little bit, and um, he'd kick her out, and same thing with the sister-in-law, she'd stay with our sister-in-law for a little bit, and then she'd kick her out, and so, um, Tori was just toggling between these two places, and I guess one night her and his stepdaughter Matthew's stepdaughter Alana went to go look for a phone to use they didn't have a phone to call him um Matthew didn't show up from wherever he was that day that night and so they were calling around looking around that night looking for him but they couldn't um find him so she went to go look for a phone to use so she could try to call him because they didn't have a phone and so while they were out and about on this adventure Alana said that a white van with no windows pulled up to my sister and um basically i think the driver side he rolled down his window the driver started talking to my sister and um i guess my sister told lana like this is a private conversation this isn't for you just um go ahead and go back into the corridor because they were at this place called retro apartments and i don't know if you guys know where that is or heard of it at all but it's like this building that's kind of like a three-way building almost like a u like a u sh square u shape building and then in the middle there's like a, a corridor or like a little area in that place in that area so she told alana to go back into that area i guess that was her own safety and protection and so alana said that she didn't hear anything she just saw this um, van speed off very quickly and so she um 
she said that was the last time she saw my sister and they don't know what happened to her ever since then so that was the last person to um, see my sister alive was Alana and so I don't know where they moved um we filed a missing persons report uh we got crime stoppers involved i believe there's still a thousand dollar reward on any information to the whereabouts or like leading to the persecution of her murderers basically or murderer and so she it was hard i'm guessing for the last few weeks of her life i'm not quite sure what happened or where she was who she was hanging out what she was doing um but that's what i remember and recall i uh, granted this has been 10 over 10 years since i've shared all of these details um her detective on the case his name is james and he i contacted him about a year and a half ago because every year i follow up with him too to see if they have any new leads or information on my sister um but the last time i talked to him he said that he turned it over to the missing persons um department i guess at the pima county sheriff's office so he said that she, um yeah that she was missing and he he was trying to find her and he didn't and her case was the only case in his career that he never solved and um he was even thinking about writing a book on on her case specifically so it was really deep this all this information like the crime stopper flyers we posted them everywhere they were on you know every street corner every pole that we could find we were handing them out to people we even had t-shirts created specifically you know um for the crime stoppers reward thousand dollar reward um so i have to follow up on that but yeah it was just a tragedy anytime you lose somebody it's horrible um a year later they found her remains in the desert. It was a man's property. He was on horseback surveying his property. He hadn't done it in a while, a few months. Excuse the rain, it's raining really hard. And so, um, yeah, so I don't know what happened to her. I still don't know. I don't know how she was murdered. I don't know who did it. I don't know why they did it. And, you know, I have all these unanswered questions because when you lose somebody, so close to you this is my older sister mind you it breaks your heart it breaks your soul basically and so when she died like basically a part of me died too i want to say it felt like it and um my heart completely broke into a million pieces and it's still my heart hasn't recovered from it you know losing somebody so close to you like that you never quite recover I feel like you know it's been a decade but it still feels like it happened yesterday um, I think about her a lot I talk to her a lot um, you know I, I say my prayers of course and um, you know just little reminders if I see a little butterfly I say hi Tori you know and it's just her checking up on me or my family and so that's what I've told her kids you know if you see it like maybe a little butterfly that's her just a reminder you know she's always with us she's always gonna try to help us and um, guide us and show us the right direction to go in she's, she's literally our guardian angel and so that's the story of my sister um i want to do another update next year it will be you know different maybe more details maybe more work could have been done maybe you know i i feel in my heart if it had been reversed my sister would not rest she would make it her goal you know her mission to find whoever um you know hurt me and i think that's my calling my one of my purposes here on this earth is to try to find her killer and um you know i, I might not ever get an answer me and my family might never get an answer but you know it doesn't hurt <laughs> to ask well why i don't know why i'm just like it's dreary it's a dreary rainy cloudy day and so i'm just kind of down and out so uh one of the details the detective did share with us and i don't know if i can say this on camera but one of the motorcycle gangs might have been um the culprit um that hurt her and um 
ended up to her demise, ended her demise, so I'm not too sure. So there's a specific biker gang down there, so I don't know if they had anything involved. I'm not trying to accuse anybody, that's just what the detective told us. I'm just relaying information and just little tiny details that I remember. Because maybe these details can help somebody else, you know, out there solve her case, you know. That would be awesome, that would be um, a prayer come true, you know. <laughs> so. This is my story on my sister. She's uh, her name is Victoria Delgado, a hyphen Harrison. Her maiden name is Harrison. So, if you guys have any information, please contact me. You can email me at Auntie Susie with two E's at the end, S U S I E E at yahoo.com. Um, you can DM me. I have TikTok. I have um, Instagram, I have a Snapchat, I will leave all of those descriptions down below. I have, everything's under Auntie Susie except for my Snapchat. It's Auntie Susie 007. You just added 007 at the end. And that's my Snapchat name. So, please contact me or you can go directly to the Pima County um, Police Department or you can contact Crime Stoppers. It has, it, you can be anonymous, you don't even have to say your name, you don't even, you know, have to give an explanation just say hey you know um this sounds familiar i heard a story a while back about matt or alana and, and victoria or so and so you know there's details out there that people know that they won't let let go they won't speak about you know um i'm, I'm guessing out of fear to from whoever did this to my sister i have no idea I, i'm I, i've had so many theories over the years and these are just my theories uh, my concepts you know um the facts that i stated were true so i don't know where else to go for help and i just hope this video finds somebody with some information about my sister i miss her dearly she she was a beautiful person um if you guys like my personality she was 10 times brighter than me if that's at all possible but she was she was the light and everybody gravitated towards her and it i miss her dearly so if you guys thank you for watching um i've been trying not to be too long on my videos i've been trying to um film some more content on tiktok i'm just really lost september is always hard it's just her anniversary day i had to get through it i did and uh, i apologize for being absent last month I, you know past few months i've just been dealing with internal things it's nothing to do with you guys you guys are the best you're you listen to me and you encourage me and you know i get dms and likes thank you guys for everything i never thought i would get this big on my channel or in my career i know i don't have like fancy editing and you know shows and this and that it's just like one shot and that's it basically and i try to keep it that way um i did have to stop on my tiktok video today just because the dogs were barking so this was like one of the videos it keeps stopping and then going just because i don't want you guys to be you know i don't want you guys to hear the the dogs barking outside or anything like that i don't want any disruptions i want you guys this is personal you know one-on-one -on -one, you and me and so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the story time i'm gonna try to bring back my story time series um i just have so much to say i don't know if i can do it in three minutes on a tiktok i've been doing a lot of lives on tiktok if you guys can catch my lives i'd really appreciate that i'm gonna try to do lives hopefully i'm trying to set a schedule for monday wednesdays and fridays to film some kind of video or content um so if you guys like that idea let me know if you have any comments concerns problems questions um interests please um message me i'm not sure if my comments are still blocked on this app for whatever reason my comments were turned off and i tried for the life of me um to turn turn it on you know and so it didn't work so yeah so all right guys i got better go i'm kidding it's getting late i love you take care i will see you in my next video and happy halloween all right bye guys take care stay safe out there wash your hands bye